So I hear time and time again that uh, people believe that they suck at sales. And let me tell you something, it's not the case, right? You just need to tweak a few things. See, you decided to write your own narrative. You decided to set up a company. You decided to find new customers. That is in itself something that you should be proud of. Now, what can happen is that sometimes we all victim of a bit of self-sabotaging. We will all victim of, hey, we hear that no, that, that actual negative voice sets hurdles that are created by ourselves. So, as I mentioned, you're great, you're doing well. You just need a few tweaks. Maybe what may happen is that you may have a toxic relationship with yourself. Your routine is toxic to you. Are you in a genuine situation where you are getting customers, net new customers, right? If it's something that's not part of your plan, that's okay. But are you really putting the right processes in place in order for you to get to your goals? That may be having like X amount of customers within a year, making sure that you're doing three onboardings for the next six months, right? Is this something that you've been able to track and are you putting the right ingredients in order to fulfill that goal? And the whole issue is that you may be dragged by all the activities such as maybe customer support, you may be dragged by other activities such as making sure that you're fixing benign technical issues, which is probably your zone of genius, but someone needs to help you sell more, right? And you may have to start by you, yourself, right? What is it that you can basically delegate in order to free up time so that you can focus also on your sales. So we're going to come to solutions in a short while, but what I want to make sure is that you need to do a reality check. Sometimes, and this, the second thing that I observe is a lot of MSPs and IT support service companies believe that they are actually running a lifestyle business, and which is fine, right? If you want to dwell on your customer, right? The existing customer base and you've upsold and you've made a lot of money, right? And, and that's fine, right? then you're really aligned with your own objectives. But a recent study conducted by Comtia, right, showed that although a lot of MSPs say that, hey, we're running a lot of business and we have reached a ceiling in terms of revenue, well, most of them want more customers. And that's actually came out as the number one priority. So there's a bit of a disconnect happening, which is why it's important to be first aware, right, of that and um, understand what is that you need to do. Do you need to actually spend more money or do you need to look at what's happening in your business, putting some of the processes that are already existing maybe in place, making sure that every single activity is conducive to more revenue, starting from the people who you work with, are they trained, are they good at their functions, are they making the most of their zone of geniuses, are they really adding value? Are you feeling like a team? Do you have a CRM where the, all the information needs to be recorded? Is it a good way for me to bring in the relationships? They get sent a gift, which will help ultimately, with renewals, which will help ultimately, with upselling. Am I recording, documenting every process? Very tedious, but when it comes to the exit, very valuable. How am I telling the stories of what is it that I do and how I add value to my customers, right? These are fantastic stories that can help you reinforce a relationship, right? Not being seen as a thing, let's say a random, lifeless, normal IT support service company, but more as a partner that works hand in hand with your customer because they value you. At the end of the day, you're 100% in charge of your future. It's your own destiny. Make the right choices. It's never too late to rewrite the chapter that you initially wrote in order to lead your IT support service companies or your MSP to a greater success and sell, right? Without having people being or feeling that they're being sold to. So visualize, keep to your objectives and you're gonna get there.